two, one. Hello everybody, James with My Breeder Supply, lovemypups.com. So today is going to be a video on how to tell if your dog is pregnant. So there's lots of different ways to do this. Uh, you can do a blood test as a thing called a witness test or a relaxing test. We're going to do that. I just got one of those in. Never done this before, so we will be interested to see what we think of this. So we, get, we have to draw blood and separate blood to do this test. So I'll talk more about this here in a moment, but I want to get this started because this test takes 50 minutes for the results. And so I don't want you to have to hang around for 50 minutes waiting for paint to dry. So we're going to talk about the other things uh, after we've drawn blood and kind of brush this thing up. Basically, there's a number of different ways. So one is you can do a blood test. We're going to do that. Second thing is you can do an ultrasound or an x-ray. We'll talk about those. Then there's some outward signs that a dog is pregnant. We're going to talk about that as well. Uh, then, um, so here is, let's pop it down the ground. For, yeah, here, this is, let's pop it down the ground so we can see how pretty she is. So this is Giabella. She's a Frenchie. She was bred about four weeks ago. So I'm not sure that she's pregnant. Um, so that's why we're going to do this test to find out. Um, so let's pop her up here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw some blood. So how do we do that? I've got another video showing how you do that. But basically, I use, I like these uh, 1cc syringes. They're very small, 1cc syringes. And then I use a 22 gauge, uh, one inch needle. There that is. And then I collect the blood and put it back into the guard. And that's what I use to spin it down with. Um, I buy the needles on eBay and I buy the syringes on eBay. I used to buy them on Amazon, but I don't think you can buy them there anymore. I mean, it's like $10 for a hundred of those and $10 for a hundred of these. I mean, they're very inexpensive. And, and you probably pay the same price to buy one or two that you would to buy 10. All right, so first thing to do is get blood. I've got videos showing you how to do this, but for the interest of completeness, uh, we're gonna do the whole thing right here. So I've got myself a little improvised tourniquet and that stays on her arm like that. Russ, why don't you come around this way here? I have to have glass on so I can see what I'm doing. So now we're going to prep the site by making sure that we don't have any extra dirt. This is just straight alcohol. We're gonna rub this down, make sure that fur is clean. It's much easier to see the vein if two things. If you wet it down, the vein shows up better. Now, I can feel the vein, it's right there. It's not easy, when you haven't done this before, it's much easier to shave this area. And I don't promise you I'm going to get the stick the first time. She's going to be a bit of a wriggler. Put hand behind her elbow. So here we go. Let's drop her down so I, then I can rest my hand on this. And it's hard for you to see this. I can't even see it, but I can feel the vein. It's right there. So here we go. We're just going to go. We've got the bevel side of the, of the needle facing up. There's the hole. I'm just going to put it in gently, push it in, and then pull back. And there it is. Now, I've done this a lot, so I made that look easy. And it, it is easy, but I can promise you, the first few times you do it, you won't get the blood to flow like that. But here's the deal. You can't hurt your girl doing it. So this comes off first, then the needle comes out, and then we just take this with the alcohol on it, and you can see that just a little bit of blood and it's already stopped bleeding, because it's such a small little pinprick. Okay, pop it down the ground. So there is one cc of blood. That is more than enough to do this test. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put, I put it at the very bottom so I don't get an air bubble there and I fill it up back up with blood. It's gonna take about half a cc to fill that up. And maybe two thirds of a cc. There it is. There's our blood. Right, run over here, Russ. So now we have a centrifuge. We sell these products on My Beauty Supply. So we're gonna pop this in the centrifuge and we're going to plug it in and we're going to let that spin on high speed for about five minutes. So now let's talk while that's going on. Get this stuff out of the way. Let's talk, on here. Let's talk about the signs of a dog is pregnant. So, how do we know this dog is pregnant? Well, of course, if she starts to blow up like a balloon, you would think that that means she's got puppies in, on board. Now, we're not really seeing, we're seeing, do you think she's showing a little bit? I don't think she's showing too much. No, exactly. So you can tell, she'll stand up for us here. If you look from above, you know, I see a little, you know, this is her ribs, this is her stomach area, and this is the part that will start, this is where the puppies are gonna be in here. So this start will start to fill out. She's pretty tucked, so, you know, I'm, I, I'm unfortunately thinking she's not pregnant. Okay, so the next thing that you can see is in a virgin dog, a dog said we've never even had puppies before, is that her nipples will start to look bigger. And we do see some of that. 
So, um, do you hold up there for me? There you go. All right, so you see these nipples here? These are, if it normally had nipples are very small, and these ones are actually pretty big. So here's small nipples, here's big nipples. So this is promising. So this is one of the very first things that you can typically see in a dog, but it doesn't help much on a dog that's had puppies before because the nipples stay this size after they've given birth the first time. But on a new uh, mama, that to see nipples growing like this, and that typically starts to happen at, you know, four weeks, three weeks, you'll start to see these elongation and, 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 and swelling of the nipples. This is promising right here. All right, so I'm gonna pop it down. So then the next thing is you palpitate her. So the way you do this is, is that what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hand like this and you're gonna squeeze between her rib cage and her back end, we're gonna squeeze like this and then we're gonna to try to feel for a structure. Now it's gonna be about the size of a plum for a, for a dog that's four weeks in. So we're gonna fit, trying to, so what I'm doing is I'm going in here and I'm squeezing, not really hard. Um, she's not too uncomfortable with it. I'm trying to feel a structure there other than just intestines. Something that feels hard, basically the skull of the, of the, of the newborn, the puppy that's gonna be born. And I honestly don't feel anything. This takes some experience um, and it's much easier to do this when you are close to the point that the uh, you know 61 days after AI is the time that you're gonna well she's gonna well and so I don't feel anything here so I'm a little bit disappointed here all right so let's we can put it back down down thank you very much Double turn. okay so thank you John I appreciate that okay so let's get the blood test started she's gonna go back down see you Bella and I've got to get a pair of forceps to pull it out. Give me two secs here, Russ. Okay. Beautifully separated. So here's the red blood cells. Here's the plasma. This is the stuff we're going to use. And by the way, this is the same thing you use for the progesterone test, the canine. Uh, target ovulation test kits, same thing again, you separate the blood. And by the way, there's other ways to spin this down. Not everybody's got a centrifuge. You can let it sit for about two to four hours and it will separate. That's another way to separate it. And another way is, and I don't know if I still got it up here, is to use a ceiling fan. As crazy as it sounds, uh, I took it down. But anyway, you can take this, tape this onto the end of the ceiling fan, turn the ceiling fan on for about 15 minutes, and that'll separate it too. So there's a number of ways that you can improvise to separate. All right, so here we go. So here comes the test kit. So this is one that I bought on eBay. It was 20 bucks, including delivery. I have never run this test before. There were no instructions with it, but there are instructions online. So what you get is you open this little package up and you get this little cartridge right here. And that little cartridge, you're gonna put the sample in here. You're gonna put three drops of sample in here followed by one drop of the buffer solution. And here's the buffer solution. Here's the buffer solution. And by the way, this does come with a blood drawing kit and a tube. I'm not gonna use those, but it does come with that. So I'm not using that, but you could. And then it comes with, um, why did that phone do that? Is it the wrong phone? Okay. Good. I thought I'd phone it quit. All right, so here we go. So, so basically, I think you want to have this at room temperature. This does not have to be stored in the fridge. It does want to be kept in this moisture-proof package till you're ready to use it. So here we go. So we're going to draw up some uh, some of this nice plasma we collected. And there it is. All right, can you see this okay, Russ? Sure. Maybe. All right, here comes three drops. So here's... here's one... Two, three drops. Three drops of plasma. Well, let's put that over there. Then it calls for one drop of the buffer. This is just a saline buffer to kind of flush it through. through. And that comes with the kit? Comes with the kit. Over. One drop of that. Now we wait 15 minutes. So we'll talk about other things while that goes on. Well, it's right at 10 minutes in. Okay, very good. 
So by the way, on this here, we'll probably see the results sooner than that. What you're gonna see here is, you're gonna see, hopefully see one or two lines form. Uh, the first line tells you that the kit, kit is in fact working properly. And the second line is going to show up if uh, if it's a confirmed pregnancy. So you see two lines if the dog is pregnant, and one line if the dog is not. Uh, and I'm already seeing one line show up. Maybe that's the confirmation one, and that's the test, probably actually. Anyway, we will we will see what happens here. Okay. Um, so let's just talk about other things. All right. So so how else do you tell that your dog's pregnant? Well. So a lot of people will go in and have either an ultrasound done, and you can get that done in about 28 days, uh, or they'll do an x-ray, and you can do that maybe the last couple of weeks of pregnancy. So what do we do? We don't do any of that stuff. And here's the reason why. When we're talking about Frenchies, we always have C-sections. So if you're not gonna do a C-section, I think you're making a mistake. Um, I've got videos on how to time the whelp that we're not going to talk much about that here, but certainly you want to make sure that you get your timing right when you're doing a C-section. But for us, you know, what's the point of, of, of spending money on this or spending money on a pregnancy, on an X-ray or an ultrasound? Honestly, um, since we know that we're going to have a C-section, whether there's one puppy in there or eight puppies in there, it's going to be exactly the same procedure. So it really makes little difference to us. It's kind of like opening presents up. You know, before Christmas Day, I mean, no X-ray your presents to find out what's underneath the tree. You know, we don't do that, and consequently, we're not going to do that uh, here. So, wh why would we do a test like this? Well, if we're getting maybe a week out and we're not sure whether the dog is pregnant, then certainly to go have confirmation so you don't muck up and either do a C-section when there's no puppies present, or miss the C-section, have puppies coming in the middle of the night. It would absolutely make sense to have an X-ray or a radiograph, same thing done, at about you know four or five days out. Certainly at that point, you should be able to palpitate pretty easily, feel and feel for the skulls. But again, if you're not sure, you definitely don't want to mess up, and that's would be the point that you want to do it. Um, okay, so <clears throat> we're not 10 minutes, but we are seeing a nice line there to confirm that the test is correct. We're not seeing a line here to show that uh, the dog is pregnant. So unfortunately, I'm pretty sure what I, what I suspected was true, that this dog unfortunately is not pregnant, and uh, that happens. She's a young dog, and we'll just try again when she comes back in here. So this is, she is at about four weeks, so she's a month from when she was bred. Dogs, typically it's six months between um, heat cycles on most dogs. So we'd expect her to come back in in about five weeks, well, excuse me, five months. So today is the beginning of June, June, July, August, September, October. So the back end of October, beginning of November, we expect it to come back in and we will, uh, we will then uh, uh, run a, hopefully do another AI on her and be successful. So the problems with getting dogs pregnant, you know, it's all about getting the timing right. Uh, this girl, actually, we were a little late on doing the timing because we, we kind of weren't watching properly. Um, and I have the, the, the my, my success rate is about 85%. The biggest problems that I have are younger dogs. So dogs that are a year, year and a half old, those are the ones that are the hardest to get pregnant. Or older dogs, dogs that are like you know four or five years old. The ones that are in the middle, almost always we get them pregnant. But anyway, this test was, uh, you know, I wish we'd had a, a positive so we could know this test absolutely works. Um, I'll do a follow up if the dog is pregnant and this didn't work, I will certainly add that to this video to post the fact that this test is no good but I suspect the test is fine and that the uh, the only problem was that uh, uh, the dog physically didn't get pregnant all right so this test as I say again on eBay 20 bucks what this does is it tests te tests for the hormone relaxin and relaxin uh, levels increase uh, at about 20 I think you can do this test at 21 22 days in three weeks in you can start doing this test and, and get a positive result as a result of the dog's pregnant. Um, so you can certainly go to your vet and have this done. I'm not sure what a vet's gonna charge you. I would suspect 50 to 100 bucks to have this test done at the vet. So for 20 bucks, you can do it yourself uh, if you're comfortable with drawing blood. Um, but anyway, the first time on that. Number of different people out there who make this product. The witness test is probably the, the most popular one out there. Um, and I think they're about 50 bucks for a test. This one's a cut rate version, good old Chinese product, but I say, according to what it looks like here, it looks nice, nice dark line to show that the test is working properly. Um, 
Let's see what else did I miss on on this? I think that's probably about it. So ultrasounds, I think you can do an ultrasound at about 28 days. Um, the X-ray is no good until the bones have calcified, and that is typically further on in the pregnancy. You're probably talking like six weeks before an X-ray will show much. Of course, you can still do an ultrasound. Nipple size getting bigger is another sign. The other behavioral signs too. Um, Morning sickness, that happens in some dogs. So at a couple of weeks in, they can start having, you know, have to do some vomiting. Uh, they can have an increased appetite. They can be more lethargic, change in behavior, be more lovey towards you. Those are all signs that potentially the dog is pregnant. Then the other part about all this is you can absolutely have a false pregnancy. So a false pregnancy is one where the dog appears to be pregnant, but in fact is not. So you can get caught with your pants down on this one you can even get to the point where the dog has milk and is in fact not pregnant, it's a false pregnancy. So the problem with this is if you really cannot see that she's physically got bigger, you cannot palpitate the puppies, you're not getting a positive test, you're not getting an x-ray or an ultrasound, you could still be fooled into believing that your dog was pregnant and in fact the disappointment is that she's not. So that's all well and good but you certainly do not want to go through having a c-section done to find out that your dog is not pregnant. That would be uh, an unnecessary risk to your dog and it's going to cost you, you know, anywhere from you know, $250 to $3,000. Those are the price ranges on C-sections. So you definitely don't want to get into that situation. How many minutes are we into this now? 17. Okay. So hope this information is useful to you. Again, we've got a lot more videos on my website, www.lovemypups.com. We have lots of Frenchy studs. We'd love for you to look at those. If we can help you in any way about that, great. Mybreedersupply.com. We have whelping kits. We've got a novel whelping system that I think is absolutely the best in the world. We've actually uh, got a provisional patent on it at the moment. Um, we have Shipmate, our Shipmate product to ship semen uh, all over the world. Uh, a fantastic product. I've now had personally 2,700 consecutive shipments without a failure in semen. This product absolutely works beautifully. Um, we have incubators. You can save money on choosing the vet where you're going to have your C-section done. For us, if we travel an hour and a half to Texas, I can cut my um, C-section bill down to 250 bucks. Incredible deal. And the incubator lets me do that. An incubator is extremely useful for uh, uh, looking after puppies that may be small or have some problems. You can keep them in an incubator for literally the first three weeks of their life and save a puppy that otherwise would, would, would not make it. So again, my, James Chopping, my British supply, love my pups. Thanks for looking at the video. Goodbye, everybody.